Joan, it's a pleasure to have you with us this afternoon, and thank you for joining us this past week in the, in the program. It's just been delightful. Um, as part of the Center for Online Innovation and Learning, we do a program called COIL Perspectives. And in this program, we invite leaders to come in and give us some ideas. And the ideas are formed around three questions. The first question has to do with what you hope for and envision for education in the next three to five years. So it's not real far out there, but it's enough. The second question has to do with what you see as perhaps the barriers to realizing that sort of a vision. Sure. And the third question has, very germane to our talk this week, what are the leadership skills that we might need to encompass in order to champion and realize that type of a vision? So Certainly. let's start with the first one. So what do, you, sure. what do you see or hope for in the next three to five years for education? Well, I hope for education that uh, it's all-encompassing, meaning that um, we shorten the distance in distance ed mm -hmm. and use it uh, use those technologies and those strategies uh, not only to enhance face-to-face -face classes, but also that we can develop more and more all online courses uh, for those students who, for whom that's more appropriate. Uh, and I know that's happening in some places, but it's certainly far from being universally available. Okay. So, um, I agree with you, Thank by you. the way, uh, which is exciting in, in the fact that I think there are many of us that kind of want to see that happen. But I'm, I'm wondering what your views might be as to what's going to prevent us Certainly. from realizing that, that kind of a vision. Certainly. I think, well, I, I know from experience that uh, there can be resistance mm -hmm. on the part of uh, especially uh, institutionally, uh, those campuses that pride themselves in uh, having perfected the lecture, mm -hmm. uh, who uh, often have um, vested interests in several ways in seeing that those courses uh, be protected. And um, I, I'm not sure it's intentional. Uh, in some instances, it probably is. But in some, I think it's just not realizing the wonderful possibilities that are out there uh, that are available through uh, distance or I'd, I'd rather say connected technology. I like the, I like yes. the idea of connected yes. because this um, the technology infrastructure creates and we heard that theme several times today um, about the connection piece to this. So how you know that's a great idea about the barrier um, addressing issues of the resistance and I'm wondering if you from your experience do you have any strategies that that we might be able to use well, <laughs> I would say that um, this, this institute has been invaluable. Uh, as I shared this morning, I am clearly an introvert. And people, uh, my students, laugh when they hear that <laughs> but, <laughs> because um, I, I overcome it. The, the issue with, with uh, uh, introverts isn't that they can't overcome. It's so energy consuming yes. to come through and break those uh, uh, those resistances or those barriers just to put yourself out there. Sure. And so life has taught me uh, from several different perspectives that if I don't use that energy to push beyond, uh, things won't happen. Yeah. Um, mm. So um, I've learned, actually it was brought home to me this morning by this morning's um, events, how important it is to be at the table. And I've been one who have has sort of taken the safer route and kind of um, avoided doing that. Um, and I realize how important it is to be at the table to uh, express what, uh, I, from my experiences, what has worked, what hasn't worked, and how to how to do it well. And I do have experience that I think could be valuable. It's a matter, I think, of my making that, uh, overcoming that uh, right, right. To, to do it. And I think your observation of this being a, um, a sort of a personal barrier, mm -hmm. I, I understand exactly what you're saying. 
is uh, gives us a different challenge. We often think about sort of the institutional barriers, mm -hmm. but you're speaking to one on a much more of a personal level That's about exactly right. being aware of your style and your comfort and being willing to, to exactly. step out. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So that leads me very nicely actually into the third question, which speaks to that leadership um, issues. Um, what are what do you see as uh, for a, a new individual coming into the field, either brand new to leadership or perhaps brand new to online learning? Mm -hmm. What leadership skills do they need? I think being present, mm -hmm. uh, realizing the importance of influence, as we, we heard this morning, um, the willingness to network, um, to be team. Uh, those are places that actually being a team leader uh, comes. I was an athlete when I was a kid, mm. and uh, our coach used to say, we swim as a team or we don't swim. And so I'm pretty well, uh, very well um, experienced at, at team and team leadership. And actually, mm. that's how I've succeeded as well as I have, is by being able to build teams uh, and uh, get things done that way. Uh, and uh, the, the fact, I think one thing that happens is we say team is uh, putting your whole into making the team success. But always there has to be a respect or a, a consideration for every member of the team getting something they really want from themselves too sure. and honoring that sure. so that it's not all sacrifice. Yes. It's also opportunity for the person to develop. Yeah. And that's mm. one thing I'm very careful about, um, and Team Lafuse is yeah. to, and, and I, I know that I've succeeded at that because uh, I heard one of my team members, who's relatively new to the team, explain to somebody else, now when she says, what is your opinion? She really wants to know <laughs> what your opinion is. You don't have to make it sound good. That's and marvelous. Th yeah. And then I heard yeah. her explain, and everybody, you need to let us know what you want uh, because she'll want to know what. Yeah. And, I, and I heard the conversation, but I was busy doing something else. Right. And I thought, bravo. You got it. <laughs> She's you got, got it. it. <laughs> so you set the right culture in that environment That's exactly right. for that to come through. Exactly. Yeah. It is a matter of, of changing a culture in small ways mm -hmm. to make big changes ultimately. Sure. And, um, um, and I heard the word love used this morning. And mm. I, it's not just a mushy sentiment. Mm -hmm. Um, my daughter quotes Jimi Hendrix, I think, who says when the uh, power of love overcomes the love of power, <laughs> we'll have peace in the world. And I yeah. think when we think in terms of uh, the power of love, the power of working together, the power of mutual respect, honesty, Absolutely. and admiration, yeah. uh, we can do wonderful, wonderful Absolutely. things. Absolutely. That's a great note to end. Thank wow, you. that's wonderful. Thank you so much. And oh, thank you thank so much you. for joining yes, the thank organization. You. Thank you.